Welcome to our channels English with Hassan 1 and English with Hassan 2. Hey everyone, welcome to English with Hassan 1 and 2. If you're looking to master English, you're in the right place. Whether you're starting from scratch or aiming to improve your skills, I'm here to make your journey fun, easy, and super effective. I'm going to see verb touch. I touch you. You touch me. He touches her. She touches him. We touch you. They touch us. I repeat, you, me, her, him, us. We call them in English object pronouns. We are going to study them in the coming lessons. As you see, I touch, you touch, we touch, they touch. The verb doesn't change. But with he and she, we add es to the verb he touches she touches let's see the negative form i don't touch you you don't touch me he doesn't touch her she doesn't touch him we don't touch you they don't touch us as i repeat in the negative form and the question form the verb doesn't change with all the pronouns but you need to write in the negative form he doesn't and she doesn't let's see the question form do i touch you do you touch me does he touch her does she touch him do we touch you do they touch us as I repeat, in the question form and in the negative form, the verb doesn't change with all pronouns. And in the question form with he and she, you need to write does. Does he touch? Does she touch? I'm going to deal with verb mix. Mix is to put two things together. Let's see the positive form. I mix colors See, it means i put all the colors together i mix colors you mix everything you put everything he mixes water eggs and flour to make bread or cake a cake she mixes all the papers it means she put all the papers together we mix lies with the truth they mix red and blue these two colors to get purple another color as you see i miss you mi uh, i mix sorry i mix you mix we mix they mix the verb doesn't change but with he and she we add es to the end of the verb he mixes she mixes let's see the negative form i don't mix colors you don't mix everything he doesn't mix water eggs and flour she doesn't mix our, all the papers we don't mix lies with the truth they don't mix red and blue to get purple as you see with i don't mix you don't mix we don't mix they don't mix the verb doesn't change and with he doesn't mix she doesn't mix mix also the verb doesn't change so what is important is just to put doesn't with he and she the verb in the negative doesn't change let's see the question form Do I mix colors? Do you mix everything? Does he mix water, eggs, and flour? Does she mix his... Uh, here there is a mistake. So, does. So, we need to take ES from the verb and to put it with do. So, does he mix? Does he mix? So, if you say do he mixes, no, it's not correct. So, please... Uh, correct this mistake so take es and put it with do 
to become does so does he ma mix water eggs and flour and the same with she so take es from the verb and put it with do so to become does does she mix all the papers do we mix lies with the truth do they mix red and blue to get purple let's continue in this slide we are going to deal with two verbs the first verb is do and the second verb go let's see positive form i do my best you do sport he does his homework she does the housework we do exercises they do tricks on us as you see i do you do we do they do the verb doesn't change but with he he does she does with he and she the verb take es let's see the negative form i don't do my best you don't do your sp uh, sport he doesn't do his homework she doesn't do the housework we don't do exercises they don't do tricks on us as you see do doesn't change with all pronouns but you need to write he doesn't and she doesn't let's go to the question form do i do my best do you do sport does he do his homework does she do the housework do we do exercises do they do tricks on us as you see the verb with all pronouns doesn't change but you need to write does with he and she in the question let's see verb go in the positive form i go to the gym you go to the cinema he goes to the stadium she goes swimming we go running they go jogging as you see i go you go we go they go the verb doesn't change but with he and she the verb has es at the end he goes she goes let's go to the negative form i don't go to the gym you don't go to the cinema he doesn't go to the stadium she doesn't go swimming we don't go running they don't go jogging as you see the verb in the negative form doesn't change but you need to write he doesn't and she doesn't let's go to the question form do i go to the gym do you go to the cinema does he go to the stadium does she go swimming do we go running do they go jogging as you see in the question form the verb doesn't change with all pronouns but you need to write does he and does she let's continue let's go to the next slide the last verb which is quiz positive form i quiz my students every week quiz is a small test it means i do a small test to my students every week you quiz your students he quizzes his students she quizzes her students we quiz our students they quiz their students i quiz you quiz we quiz they quiz the verb doesn't change but we with he and she so the verb quiz ends with z so with he we add another z and es this is so you should remember this he quizzes she quizzes let's see the negative form
I don't quiz my students every week. You don't quiz your students. He doesn't quiz his students. She doesn't quiz her students. We don't quiz our students. They don't quiz their students. As you see in the negative form, the verb doesn't change with all pronouns. But you need to write does, doesn't with he and she. Let's go to the question form, the last slide. Do I quiz my students every week? Do you quiz your students? Do you quiz your students? Does he quiz his students? Does she quiz her students? Do we quiz our students? Do they quiz their students? As you see in the negative form, the verb doesn't change, but you need to write does he and does she in the question. That's the end of today's lesson. And with that, we've reached the end of today's lesson. If you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends. Share with us in the comments what you learned or if you have any questions. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell so you don't miss any new lessons. Together, we'll make learning English a fun and easy experience. I'll see you in the next video, God willing. Goodbye. As if you are studying in a private school, institute or university to learn English and most importantly for free, this is your chance, so seize this opportunity. See you inside the channel. I wish you good luck.